可以 pass the wire to the inside of the frame and do not connect the power cord to the battery during the wire installation process. L2 Road Electronic Shifter Kit Using wireless connection plus wire power supply, the shift command of the dual control shifter to the front and rear derailleurs is a wireless communication method. The front and rear derailleurs are connected to the battery mounted on the seat tool by using terminal wires. Use a 5mm hex wrench to install the rear derailleur. Fix rear derailleur make sure the derailleur block plate is in seamless contact with the tail hook blocker. After locking, the derailleur and lifting lug should be able to face each other. The tail hook rotates without significant axial wobble. Adjust the front derailleur stabilizing screw with a 2mm Allen wrench so that it sticks out enough to rest on the frame front derailleur lugs. Using a 5mm Allen wrench, remove the C post. Install the rear derailleur power cable. Can be installed using an internal wire routing tool. Installing the front derailleur power cable. Kind tips after the front derailleur is fixed, it is recommended to pull out the wire connected to the power cord moderately to facilitate subsequent adjustments. There is an arrow mark on the power cord interface. Please align the front derailleur terminal interface and press the wire harness into Insert the power cord according to the position of the arrow and check whether it is firm. Wrap the battery rubber plug around the bottom of the battery compartment. Kind tips when the seat post is non-cylindrical or the diameter is non-standard 27.2, please consult the frame dealer for the requirements of the relevant installation accessory for the battery installation of the seat post. Slowly insert the battery into the seat tool, making sure the battery does not come off. Insert the two power cables connected to the front rear derailleur into the two power ports of the battery. Wiring tips when oriented correctly, the terminal splice can easily sink to millimeters into the socket without obstruction. Slowly insert the battery into the seat tool, make sure the battery does not fall off. Organize the power cord to avoid excessive bending. Kind tips when riding in the rainy season, do not directly plug and unplug the wiring harness in rain or wet conditions. Lock the seat tube screw. The battery needs to be activated for the first use, and the law to specific. Magnetic charging cable is used to connect to the mobile phone charger. Connect the charging head to the rear derailleur magnetic charging port to complete the activation. Pairing the shifters in the front and rear derailleurs L2. By default, the left shifter to control the front derailleur, and the right shifter to control the rear derailleur. Long press the inner round button of the right shifter for more than 6 seconds. Observe when the indicator light inside is always green. Press the multi-function button on the rear derailleur within 5 seconds. Press it and release it, do not keep pressing it to complete the pairing. After the pairing is complete, you can try to press the right shifter button to check the response of the rear derailleur. When the rear derailleur shifts to the highest or lowest gear, the red light will flash once the prompt. When the power is less than 20%, the yellow light will flash slowly when changing speed. When the power is less than 5%, the red light will flash slowly and the gear cannot be changed when shifting. Then use the same method to complete the pairing of the left shifter and the rear derailleur. After the pairing is complete, you can try to press the left shifter button to check the response of the front derailleur. Front derailleur half gear adjustment is only possible with specific cassette and crankset combinations. Insert the holes into the frame. According to the size of the frame and the size of the brake disc, select the matching adapter and screws. Use a 5mm hex wrench to tighten. Install the brake mount on the frame. Don't install it too tightly for later adjustment. Install the front fork. Insert the front brake hose into the front fork.
Use 5mm and 4mm hex wrench. Don't tighten too tight first, it is convenient to adjust the blade. Calipers later to prevent disc rubbing. Install the crank. Use a 4mm Allen wrench. When adjusting the installation height, please refer to the instruction label posted on the outer guide plate of the front derailleur. Align the tooth tip of the largest chain ring with the gear outline on the label. After adjustment, the gap between the two ends is controlled at 1 to 3 mm. Also, make sure the outer guide plate is directly above the largest chain ring and the outer guide plate is parallel to the chain ring plane. Use a 5 mm Allen wrench to insert the top clamp screw with the shifter. Flip open the rubber sleeve and put it on the handlebar. Adjust its position so that the top of the old drain screw is parallel to the ground and open the upper rubber sleeve. At this time, there is no need to tighten the screw of the clamp ring, which is convenient for subsequent adjustment of the position. The left shifter installation is the same as above. Use a wrench to unscrew the oil plug screw. Prepare the hose cutting tool, olive oil needle and compression screw. Insert the compression screw, olive and turn. Cut the hose to the appropriate length. Please use a special tool for cutting hose to ensure a smooth session. Cutting utensils are sharp, please use carefully. Cutting is an irreversible process, please make sure the length is right before cutting. Insert the olive head cover into the oil pipe connection of the brake handle. Please please be sure to fully insert the hose and lock the nut, otherwise the brake fluid may leak or the braking force may drop. Use a 10mm open end wrench to secure the holes. Use 8mm open end wrench. Apply a torque of 5 to 6 Nm to the lock nut. Turn back the rubber sleeve to adjust the position and the installation of the right shifter is completed. Use the same method to install the left shifter. Remove the pad spacer from the brake caliper. Install rear wheel. Use a 5mm Allen wrench. Adjust the position of the caliper so that there is no friction between the disc and the brake pad and lock it tightly. Use the same method to install the front wheel and adjust the brake calipers. First determine the length of the chain and connect it by hanging the chain on the largest crankset and the largest cassette respectively. Add three more chain links at the connected position including the Chain quick release buckle. Then install the chain correctly on the back. Use your right hand to shift the rear gear to the seventh flywheel. Please calculate it from the large sprocket to the small sprocket of the cassette. Make sure the chain is on the 7th sprocket. After hanging the chain as shown in the picture, press and hold the rear derailleur multi-function button for more than 2 seconds until the indicator light enters the green light. Check it out! By half of the cassette and the lower guide wheel are on a vertical line. But by adjusting the upshift key and downshift key on the right shifter, fine-tune the rear derailleur upper guide wheel and the cassette to the same vertical plane the crank after alignment and observe whether the chain runs smoothly. Press and hold the rear derailleur multi-function button for more than 2 seconds until the indicator light goes out. The rear derailleur will record and save the parameters just adjusted. A reminder, at this time, sure press the rear derailleur function key, and the green light will also go out, which means exiting the setting mode without saving the parameters. After adjusting the position of the 7th cassette, Rotate the crank to check whether the shifting of each gear of the derailleur is smooth and whether there is any abnormal noise. If there is interference with the H limit screw of the high position minimum cassette, it is necessary to turn the H screw counterclockwise. Do not be interfered by the limit screw when adjusting the position of the upper guide wheel. If multiple gear shifts are not smooth, it may be that the initial position of the guide wheel is inaccurate, and it needs to be reset according to the above steps 15.1 to 15.6. If only a few gears don't shift smoothly, Single gear adjustment can be performed by shifter. Long press the right shifter function key. Press the downshift key or upshift key at the same time to fine tune. 
or use the Auto Electronic Shifting APP to fine tune a single gear. Adjust the tension screw. Shift the rear derailleur and crankset to the lowest gear, largest cassette, and smallest chainery. Adjust the gap between the large cassette and the guide wheel to a 10 mm by adjusting the tension screw. Tension screw adjustment can cooperate with shifting adjustment. Screw adjustment H. The purpose of this step is to fix the high, low limit screw of the rear derailleur to prevent the chain from dropping. First, shift the rear derailleur to the highest gear, smallest sprocket, and turn the high limit screw H clockwise. Let the H screw just touch the limiter. Then turn the limit screw one fourth turn counterclockwise to complete the H screw adjustment. Limit screw adjustment L. First, shift the rear derailleur to the lowest gear, largest sprocket. Then turn the low limit screw L clockwise so that the screw just touches the limit. When it feels against the limiter, turn the limit screw one fourth turn counterclockwise to complete the L screw adjustment. Reminder if the limit screw is too tight, the rear derailleur will activate the gear protection mechanism. First, shift the rear derailleur to the lowest gear, largest sprocket. Control the front derailleur to the small sprocket. Observe whether the gap between the chain and the inner guide plate is within 0.5 to no millimeter. If the clearance exceeds the above range, adjustable with left shifter. Then press the downshift key, upshift key of the left shifter to fine tune. You can also use the L to APP to adjust. Front derailleur high limit adjustment. First, change the rear derailleur to the highest gear and the smallest cassette. Control the front derailleur to the large sprocket. Observe whether the gap between the chain and the inner guide plate is within 0.5 to 1 millimeter. If the clearance is outside the above range, adjustable with left shifter. Long press the left shifter function key, then press the downshift key, upshift key of the left shifter to fine tune. You can also use the L to APP to adjust. Reminder half gear operation of the front derailleur. If the front derailleur rubs against the chain during riding, half gear adjustment can be performed by shifter. If the chainring gear is on the large sprocket, press the upshift button again to trigger half gear. If the chainring gear is on the small sprocket, press the downshift button again to trigger half gear.